Good afternoon, Wildcats, and welcome to the Wildcat News. I'm your host, Emily Herbert, and I will be giving you updates every week about what's going on in Henry County. So make sure you tune in every week so you can stay updated. I'm sure you all are very excited and eager to know about this year's fall homecoming. So I've brought to you a special guest, Lee Sweeney, Senior Class President, to let you know what we know. Yes, thank you, Emily. We are so excited about our fall homecoming this year. Miss Forey and Miss Moody are working so hard and diligently to get everything done in preparation for what's to come this year. Please, if you have any questions, stay updated with our pet page and our Google Classroom for any updates regarding homecoming. Now, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's happening with Powder Puff? Powder Puff, my favorite event of homecoming. So Powder Puff will be on Tuesday, September 20th. It'll be on the football field at 6.30 p.m. Make sure you start getting your teams, your coaches, and your shirts ready and bring your best game. If you have any questions, please just reach out to me and I'll let you know what we know. Now let's hear a sports recap from Jared. Welcome to HGHS Sports News. I'm your host, Jared Sloan. Let's talk about some sports. Our volleyball team suffered a 3-0 loss against Trimble County. I still think we have a lot of potential and come around districts, we're gonna be a threat. Moving on to cross country, our cross country team ran at Shelby County this past weekend. They all did well and Meg Golden even said she had a great time. Let's talk about ladies soccer. Um, our ladies soccer team won against Owen County 8-2. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. JC Fisher had five goals. That's incredible. Anna Gibson, Grace Tingle, and McKay all had their first goals in this game. Moving on to boys soccer. Our boys soccer team won nine to nothing. We held them scoreless, and Andy had a nice save to keep them scoreless. Jorge had a hat trick. Owen County successfully owned goal twice. <laughs> Great job. Here are a few clips from the game. Here's Daniel kicking a corner kick to Finn with the header. Incredible pass, Daniel. Moving on to football. Our football team went to Owen County and we beat them 50 to nothing. Personally, I didn't even know it was possible to mercy a team in football, but that's exactly what they did. We had six touchdowns in total. Trenton Hardy had two. Blake Nation had a receiving touchdown. Jordan King had completed seven pass receptions. And Morgan Wilson was six for six on PATs. We were solid on the defensive end as well. Here is Jordan King running it in by himself. Man. It was a sad week to be a rebel. Thank you, Jared. Now let's hear from Grayson. My name is Grayson and welcome to G on the Street. Do you care if I ask you a couple questions? Not at all. How much time do you spend on social media per day? Uh, probably, like, probably like two hours, two and a half hours. Not that much. How much screen time do you spend on your phone per day? About like four hours. So, how much spend? I don't know. How much time do you spend on your phone per day? Four hours. Seven. Twenty-six. I eight. <laughs> That was hilarious, Grayson. Now presenting New Faces, New Places, made by Morgan Davis. Uh, I'm Mr. Banta. I'm the new business teacher here at Henry County. I grew up here, uh, went to high school here, graduated here in 2013, um, went to college at EKU, got my degree in business and marketing education, uh, worked for a little bit as a grant writer for state police, uh, taught last year business at Woodford County, uh, and now I'm back home, if you will, to lead our department. I uh, think that if you're going to take me in this at some point in your career here at Henry County during your four years here, uh, we talk a lot about uh, job acquisition skills and, and, and where you're going next in life. Um, so that's a big focus for me. And that's a wrap on this week's news. I'll see you all next week.